Good evening, everyone. Prophetess Margaret Desir here. Again, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Good day or good night to all. Today, I'm speaking about disciples. Amen. According to Matthew chapter 28, verse 19, Matthew chapter 28, verse 19, it says, Therefore, go out ye into all the nations, making disciples out of all of them. Amen. Go ye into all the nations, making disciples out of everyone. So basically, God is giving the orders, amen, to the apostles or disciples, telling them, now that I've given you authority, amen, authority from up above through me, Christ Jesus, now you ought to go out and do what I have taught you. Go out and do what I have done, amen, and make examples so others can do the same thing that you're doing in my name. Because he says, I'm baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, or of the Holy Ghost, amen. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. So, therefore, it is our job. A lot of times people ask, what is my calling? What am I supposed to be doing? Um, are you able to tell me? Do you know if God has given you insight? Well, the Bible gives us insight through the words of God. Then we can communicate with God back and forth. Of course, hearing the voice of God, maybe through dreams, maybe through visions, maybe through confirmations, through prophets, prophetesses, um, apostles, pa pastors, leaders, whoever God chooses to um speak to to confirm it to you or like i said through a dream through a vision or however god decides to do it but the first thing he does send in, and he makes sure it's in the bible and the new testament is go ye therefore into all the nations making disciples so that means make sure you go spread my word make sure you go spread what i'm doing make sure that you show them that there is power and authority in the name of jesus christ make sure you go out and you do this this is your job this is what I have called you to do. So everyone is to go out and minister. Everyone is to walk in their authority and show others that there is authority in Christ Jesus. Amen. This is what we are supposed to do. So that is always, 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 first and foremost, a calling for each and every child of God. Amen. As we become heirs through Christ Jesus, according to Romans chapter 8, and according to Ephesians and Galatians and on and on and on, Acts in the Bible, it goes on and on and on. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And it gives us several examples of who we are in Christ. Amen. Ephesians chapter 1 tells us who we are in Christ. Amen. And how we are heirs. Amen. How we were predestined. Amen. To do this type of work. So people of God, our job, first and foremost, as believers, as we become one with Christ, we are married to Christ, is to go out and spread the word of God. Get a closer and a deeper relationship with Christ and teach others, teach others to do the same. Evangelize, minister, prophesy if so be it. Heal and deliver if that's what God has called you to do. But we ought to walk in our authority and show others that there is authority in the name above every name, Jesus Christ, Yeshua. Amen. There is authority in his name and that every knee shall bow. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. So people of God, we are all to need to go out. We are all ought to go out. We all should be going out. And if we're not doing it now, we should go out and begin to do what God has called us to do, which is spread his word. Amen. You guys have a blessed, wonderfully made day in the Lord.